Uh oh, I'm back. It's Ray GFT. Oh, you didn't know? I got the content. Click that bell. Tune in. Ray GFT. It's Ray Gift TV. Yeah, Ayo Wack. What the fuck yeah. going over this Dirk shit, man? We gotta get to that shit. Wack. I think Dirk got action. You know, because you know, I'm sitting back and I've been looking at it. You know, Dirk ain't no dumb. He's a smart nigga. I can't see Dirk saying, all right, we're gonna put this together while I'm in LA. And we're going to do this, do that, and y'all going to do this, do that, and I'm tired every day. You got to understand, bro, like King Bond, them niggas is part of a clique, a set of gang, whatever it is. So you ain't got to tell a nigga to do something if a nigga already on, that's what they going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to tell a nigga, like, so if Dirk is at his crib, and these niggas know they ain't got to get with Dirk till 10 this night to go do whatever they going to do on the business level. And the nigga, number four, called him like, yeah, what you niggas up to? Oh, man, we out here in L.A. Is that right? You know I seen that bitch-ass nigga Quando. What? He out here? Yeah. Nigga just called me. He whoopty whoopty whoop. And these niggas make a decision on their own and they finna go do what they do. What the fuck they got to do with Dirk? Them Back. shooters got to really go tell them police Dirk sent us to do that. Mm, Bonnie always on the private jet with the nigga. Wherever Dirk at, Bonnie at, that's normal. Telling the nigga, yo, don't tie my name to them rooms and all that, that's normal. Nigga get tired of playing another two, three thousand on the room because a nigga didn't fuck the room up and you know, drunk up all the liquor, broke the TVs and shit, right? That's standard. He probably got another hundred text messages him telling the manager, don't tie my name or my company to them rooms or to this, this, that, because of what niggas be doing. That ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, looking at it is, mm -hmm. you know, what is it that you got? So we got to wait and see. He ain't even indicted yet. Only reason yeah. why they picked him up, because he got the book in trouble. He's not even indicted yet. He's down on a on a on a complaint. They gotta indict him. They wouldn't if he would have never booked them flights, they would have never he wouldn't be arrested right now today. Wow. wow. He wasn't on the list. He wasn't on the indictment list. They picked up everybody that was on the indictment list. Wow. So you know, we're gonna sit back and see. I, I just can't. It's right. You know, Dirk got a house in now. They got a house in what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He had a podcast set up that day. On that day, he flew the niggas out here a day prior. That's how it usually works. Nigga gonna get there Thursday, his team get there winning. Niggas running around until, you know, they supposed to hook up with a nigga. So if a nigga go run into some niggas and get into some shit prior to, you can't put that on him. Uh, that's a fact. That's a fact. You can't put them. So we gonna sit back, you know. Maybe one of the shooters said that, you know, what I'm saying, uh, this, this, that, or other. You know, I know one of the niggas, the jam nigga. They say he, he's a cooperant. You know, we'll see. You know, uh, he gave you some money when he got it when you got out of jail. That's normal. You know what I'm okay. saying? So. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't. I haven't seen anything or read anything that's concrete on Dirk yet. It's a lot of hearsay. Jam wasn't out with a wire because when he got caught with the gun, he been in there since then. He ain't been out. And then like he got hit with the gun and then got back out. So we ain't cleared that up. So I believe Jam is talking, but. How much was it around Dirk to talk about what? Was his wire that he did have? Was it miscellaneous niggas talking about miscellaneous shit? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, you know, we got to see, but shit, they got 30 days. We didn't know about Thanksgiving, what they doing with it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what? I was watching the live the other night, man. 
Ten like, toes did on. bad, man. Oh, man, listen, I say, I told a nigga, like, bro, don't bring no fake ass work in here. We gonna check it. And we had had a great room. Niggas wasn't hollering and screaming. And he come in there. Well, but see, Bimmy didn't figure Ten Toes out. Ten Toes was mad. Yeah. And we was clearing it up. And he figured he throw the fake paperwork shit out there. It keeps it going. Yeah. He told yeah. Bimmy, well, why I couldn't do what Wack did? He said, because you can't. For one, Zip ain't going to come on your stage. Two, you start hollering and screaming. Whack maintain order and control of that motherfucker so niggas could have understanding. So he did that shit because he didn't want to kill the situation. He needed content. So, you know. So he did that shit out of spite. On, on purpose. Yeah, he uh, should have left it alone. Wow. He did that on purpose. So, you know. So, it was, no so Whack, so it was, so he basically set up Bimmy. Like a motherfucker, because he knew when he threw it in there, uh -huh. we had already touched, you know, Ten Toe. I mean, uh, Zip had some valid points, but he kept it real. He's like, yeah, the defense drew this up with his name in it. Okay, great. Do we have something that's identifying? Because it was a couple different CIs identifying that, yes, this dude is that dude, this dude is that dude. No, yeah. we don't. And then here come motherfucking... Uh, Ten toes with that paperwork showing that music is a Hispanic 160. This is that with the initial of DP or whatever that it was, right? Yeah. So right. I'm like, zip like, well, where the what's the docket number on that? We don't yeah, need we go. One. We do yeah. need one, nigga. We definitely need one. So he doubles back. He sends me a hundred pages. That took me twenty minutes to send me the shit. <laughs> I said, "Bro, don't send me a hundred pages. Let's play like I'm stupid. Send me the page that has a docket number that's tied to this paper." Right? He sends one. He sends. I said, "Look, send it right now." I said, "So you telling me this page one goes with this page two? This docket number? Yeah. All right." I got info spy. He been with me for four years. He a New Yorker, right? He on stage loosening with the paralegal right there on stage and the other nigga on stage. He said the number. Everybody came back. Lavish on stage. Everybody came back. Somber tanks. Whack is fake. Don't come, don't nothing come up. Ten toes hollering. That don't, that don't matter what it is. It now nah, it does, my nigga. What kind of nigga is you? The fuck is you talking about? It don't matter what it is, bro. Yeah. You know, you know now, cause you know you allegedly with Bimmy and looking like whether Bimmy like it or not. Bimmy part of you coming with Bimmy and Bimmy told a nigga, nigga, you playing with my life, nigga. Fuck is you playing for? So I don't know, you know, you got niggas like that's why I called me E Bone for Blue Hill Avenue. A nigga just just can't get right, bro. To just do some dumb shit, Back. you know, gonna do so everybody's in the green to so no dumb shit. And what he gonna do some dumb shit? Get a nigga killed, get everybody killed. So you know, <laughs> end of the day, I he, that wouldn't have never happened on nobody else's platform. Them two niggas wouldn't have been on there, bro, that long. Having nah. civil conversation, so nah. Ten toes credibility, he shot it. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think nothing he ever say anybody gonna believe him. Nah, uh, credibility oh, been oh, shot, my nigga. No, you probably, you probably picks, right, my nigga. You probably right, but in that setting right there, where everybody watched it for two hours, go question for answer, answer for question. For him to pop up there and do that and everybody check it right then and it's exposed that that fucking one nobody doing no hollering screaming he exposed overexposed so you know if you just if he come on talking about some paperwork you just ain't got nothing to do maybe you'll go listen to him but I don't think nobody gonna he could be telling the truth they ain't gonna take him serious hell no hell no Hey, Wack, why her son left off the live like that, Wack? <laughs> what, uh, be? I don't know, bro. 
I don't know. Like, he didn't want to have that conversation, Wax. And I'm telling her, son, he ain't going to know you. You ain't going to know him. Y'all 18 years apart. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I do know that the nigga beast thing I asked him. Cock guy move, nigga. He asked the nigga who was some nigga that broke him in, some nigga name. So, I don't Maybe that did it. You know what I'm saying? It's wow. way left. Yeah. Insinuating that, bro, you was grown when you was doing what you was doing. So, wow. you know, I don't know. They know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It seemed to me like they both shared the same enemy, but. You know, <laughs> I think I they pulled up on Beast Thing. I think they pulled up on Beast Thing, bro. That thing. He seen, he said, nigga whisper something in his ear. He let it go. <laughs> No, with that nigga yeah. bitch, that nigga, but shit. You know? And, and, and I signed, I told him, bro, why let a nigga, why have a nigga pass a nigga the phone? Once a nigga tell you the nigga up here, right here, why pass a nigga the phone to, to wake him up, nigga? You just supposed to pull up. That's a fact. That's a fact. Pass a nigga no phone. He's like, nigga, I'm on my way, nigga, this, this, that. Nah, nigga, like, Cause you know nine times out of ten, if he ain't that type of person, he gonna leave anyway. You got a nigga right there. He got eyeballs on him. Just pull up. Do what you gonna do. Yep. Yep. Where he at in his life, dude? Ain't trying to go to the penitentiary. He ain't never been to the penitentiary. Nope. He ain't trying to go. That nigga like 40, 41 years old, bro. He ain't trying to go to no penitentiary right now. Hell no. At all. So. Hell no. That's a fact. That's why I be saying whack. They they be mad at whack, but whack whack be whack be calling these niggas out. <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, I just be wanting to have a conversation. Let's keep it real. Answer the questions, nigga. Kill the bullshit. That's what it is, my nigga. I told R. Kelly, boy, you gotta you gotta come to chopping blocks. I don't know. It's over. Damn. It's not for him to call in. You got to come answer the questions, my nigga. Yeah, he called me about everything else, nigga. So it's time to talk. It's time, it's time to talk. It's time to talk. Right, whack. No, I don't know. I, that, that, I don't know, bro. But hey, this, hey, whack. I, I ain't holding nothing against him. Oh, puff. Man, it, it's getting out lanes. I seen some other shit. Somebody said he was ten years old. This and that. Yeah, it's they they crazy. slaying puff. But yeah, whack, I had a question. Puff. If you don't mind me accent. Uh, um, with the exposers, I like what you're doing with that, right? But it seemed like niggas is covering it up for him. Covering up for who? For Bimmy. How we covered it up, nigga, when I let every nigga present their facts. There no covering up. Where, where we covered it up? Where was it covered up? That's the, the first reason time why the names is not on certain documents is because after the appeal, you're able to see like they had to bring forth certain documents and, and show those names. So that's why they didn't see it on every document. But I'm saying, where is <laughs> the there. cover up? You said cover. Where was we trying to cover it up? Where? What point? Uh, uh, the phone call with you and Bimmy talking about some. I don't know. You you ain't hear that on YouTube. I heard the phone what call phone with you phone? and Bimmy, and you was like, "What?" what and that nigga body language. Say Whatever told, I say man. once, I say twice. Right? What did I say on the phone call? You was talking to him about Zip, and you was like, "All right, we gonna run it this way." So, like, just trying to add confusion to it. No. I told him and Tento, I said, you need to keep Tento's out your business because hey, when he say something, he's showing page one from this docket, page five from this docket, page seven from this docket, eight from this docket, and then when niggas go running, then don't line up, period. Talk about you. When I told Zip, I said, Zip, we had to talk about two things. For one, Troy, two, this other nigga, Peterson nigga right let's clear one of each of them up cause every time they talk they mixing them up and they confusing the people he like whack Detroit shit we off that we see what that is cool we talking about this and now we trying to identify it's simple 
See, y'all want to talk about nine things. All we're talking about is if CI music is Bimmy. I don't give a fuck who did the killing. I don't give a fuck who drove the car. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Fuck the Peterson nigga. Fuck him too. Yeah, All that's here to I, figure I out that. is if CI music is James Adney. That's it. Nothing else. That's all we can talk about. I'm just saying, no lawyer is going to have their name on no paperwork ex explaining that, which could get them disbarred or get them in trouble, anything. What are you talking if that's about? Not, what you mean? You know what, I mean? what are you talking about, bro? The niggas allegedly had to work, and we established the work they had is what they drew up. So if I went and drew up an appeal, and I believe God, you, nigga, you was the one driving the car and they identified me and I put in there that such and such and put this is in my appeal. This is what I believe. Right. That's what they got his name on. The DD5 ain't got no name. That came from the police. Generated from the police. No name on the side of music. The appeal that's written up by the defense attorney, the Peterson nigga, is where the name is at. Okay, so now we need somebody to verify that the names they putting in here is in fact authentic. That's where we at. The nigga <laughs> ten toes pop up with some shit that shows that music is a description of a Hispanic dude, 160, boom, 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 with the first and last initials of D some, some, some. I said, okay, well, this is clear to nigga. What's the document? We don't need. Yes, we do. Nigga, if I'm trying to cover it up, I would have been like, nah, we don't need no docket number. I'm the one made the nigga get a docket number up so we can run it. Now, he was procrastinating so long. I didn't, I, I yeah, but I didn't kind of, but, but if I was covering up, I wouldn't have stayed on the gas. So where, where, where am I covering it up? Right. I'm telling the nigga, nah, get niggas. Give us the docket number. Did this docket number say it? This the one? Okay, run it. We ran it. Came back. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Little dirt. Brick baby. Bad work. Very bad work, man. I don't know what's going to happen. They got 30 days if they want to indict him on charges. We're going to see what happens. Everybody keep that notification bell turned on at all times. You don't want to miss out on no premium content. I will deliver 24-7 around the clock. You already know. To everybody out there grinning and grinding, remember, it will pay off. If you believe it, you'll achieve it. And there it go. Shout out to WAC 100. Shout out to Gotti Gang. Shout out to Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse Shenanigans. The Rumor 90 Network. SJ Got The Juice TV. The Getty Radio Show. That answer, big media team gang, you feel me? Everybody out there content creating, let's run it up then. What? But until next time, it's your boy Ray Gavin, I'm gone. God bless. Peace.